wanted to I just wanted to share a video on a do it yourself um, painting the top of a toilet seat with sponge paint, um, and you just uh, like pick the colors that you want, whatever color you want to be like the base color um, is what you're gonna do first, like the main color, and super easy. Um, mostly. It was just the idea of doing toilet seat. I did mine at my house, and I love it. It came out really good. So you're just gonna sponge over it. Just, you know, get it all nice and covered with the first color, which is really gonna be your, your like, base color. And you could use all different kinds of sponges. It's really neat. I got one of those uh, funky sponges that you stick inside of a glass to clean it, and it looked really cool. I did a refrigerator. It was awesome. I was really happy with the way it came out. But um, this is my favorite one to use. And make sure you thin out your paint. You don't want it super thick, it just uh, it just doesn't seem to work as well. You end up having to... Waste. Yeah. Darker gray. Sponge is a little big for the cup. Alright. So now I start to like do a little less of the paint. As I'm doing getting to the last couple colors. Can't thin that one out just a little much, but it's alright, it's still good. And then now for the black. So I thinned out quite a bit too. That's right, because if you make a mistake, it's so easy to fix it. And I like it just like that. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And I'm going to do the same thing to this back part. And then you'll never have to buy a toilet seat cover until you're ready to replace your whole toilet seat. And then you can either repaint it. Or if you want to change it, you can just get a toilet seat cover again. But this is awesome because it doesn't shift. It doesn't bunch. It's can Obviously, it, you don't have to worry about size. So I thought it was a cool idea. I just wanted to share it. Just uh, click like if you liked the video. And I will appreciate it. Thanks.